At the new De Morgan Museum at Cannon Hall, we've been delighted to display some of Evelyn De Morgan's oil sketches which she made just before she died in 1919. When you come and visit, you'll notice they're a lot smaller in scale than some of the more large-scale impressive oil paintings she made when she was younger. We can tell their sketches because of the quick brushwork that's gone into them and how sketchy they look compared to her finished figures which were a lot more refined. The subjects that these two paintings deal with um, are based on one that Morgan dealt with a lot towards the end of her own life. In 1917, she'd lost her own husband, William de Morgan, and around that time, it was the time of the First World War, which of course allowed people to see grief and death and mourning on a much larger scale than they had before. What she does here is show us her own spiritualist view of a very hopeful outlook um, on death itself. De Morgan was a spiritualist and she believed that spirits of the dead could be contacted after the death of the body. Here we see the allegorical figure of night crouching down as the moon emerges, but we have triumphant figures of day bursting forward from a sunburst. This reminds us that all life is cyclical and just as day turns into night, life turns into death and back into eternal life. The picture next to it is called the death of the butterfly and we have a female figure with some beautiful prismatic butterfly wings surrounded by a rainbow. As we know, the butterfly comes into existence after a transformation from a caterpillar through the chrysalis space with what's known as metamorphosis. This is again exactly how Evelyn de Morgan saw the life cycle, that the human soul would remain constant even though the body changed from life to death. I think it gave her some hope particularly living through the First World War and the death of her husband, that she would once again feel the happiness that she had before this.